One local photographer exhibited his latest gallery at a local hospital capturing beautiful moments of patients embracing life. Tao Ta has more. Providence Health and Services hosted an inspiring public event that celebrates the courage of patients during the very last days of their life. It turns out that the things that matter most to people aren't things at all. They're other people. What can seem so sad turned into a beautiful project. These 20 men and women featured in LA photographer Andrew George's project called Right Before I Die revealed in these portraits their own struggles and aspirations. Illness and certainly a time we would call dying is hard and there's no romanticizing it. It's hard to sanitize it. It's just hard. But it is a time of life with its own value. There was one individual, Michael. He was a very interesting man, had been a prior drug user, and has this all you know, in his interview, um, but um, was able to come to God and really was able to heal um, and heal the wounds amongst his family. Executive Director and Chief Medical Officer of the Providence Institute for Human Caring, Ira Biox, says that opening our minds to appreciate and find the meaning in our own lives is remarkable and can certainly help cope with loved ones who are facing their final days. Before any significant relationship is complete, it's always of value to at least consider saying four things to one another. Please forgive me, I forgive you, thank you, and I love you. And most of all, Bioc feels that as long as everyone is working together, everyone's spirits are lifted. Palliative care specialists say that the best care involves the love and support from families. And it can be as simple as showing up for a loved one when some cases are facing their final days of life. And just sitting together, sharing a cup of tea, watching a, you know, a, a gentle rain, uh, looking at a sunset, taking a drive, watching a ball game takes on sort of this air of celebration because there's intrinsic worth to just being together with people that you know and love. And while most of these wonderful patients have passed away now, Bayok says their legacy still lives on. For Torn City Cable, this is Tao Ta.